Okay, up next is adapting our widgets as appropriate for each view. First, the base view. It's a good idea to put some example text in your widgets whilst you're laying it out so you know which is which and so you have a good idea of how the widgets look with contents. This will of course be overwritten with the on item load case. We'll do that now. Item name, item source, item description with some placeholder text. Let's adjust the height of the shape and the positions of the widgets. And price in a familiar format. Next we're going to arrange these widgets into a layout more appropriate for a small screen. But first I'm going to set up a repeater cell style for these fields. We're just going to get rid of the lines at this stage. And we'll apply this style to the rectangle shapes. All are going to be left aligned apart from the price, which will be right aligned. We'll make the product name bold and set the font to 16 pixels. Lastly, we're going to add a horizontal line widget underneath. We'll make this a light grey colour. Now let's have a look at the media list to see how this is being repeated. Looking good so far. Now we'll adapt the design as appropriate for the medium view. Switch to the 533 view. We're going to introduce two columns in the medium view. We've got more space on large devices so let's make optimal use of it. We will drag out a guide to halfway across the view. That is half of 560, that's 280. So we need to make the content smaller for the medium view. Select the four rectangles and horizontal line and drag resize them to span the 280 pixel width. We need to move the price down a bit to fit in our dummy description. OK, let's look at our repeater being rendered. It's being rendered in one column only, however we want two. So now we're going to look at the repeater styling tab. Making sure we are in the medium view, we need to change the layout settings to layout horizontally. And we want it to wrap with two items per row. Let's see how that looks. Great. Next for the large 960 pixel and above view. Now we are going to adapt the medium view design to the large view. Remember that the large view inherits from the medium view. So we're first going to go into the repeater formatting because we want the layout to be vertical. And so we'll uncheck wrap. OK, so whilst the 960 view is 960 pixels wide and above, the media list isn't going to span the whole site. We'll use eight columns for our media list, moving the text boxes across to the third columns and resizing to take up the remaining six columns.
we'll resize the image to 150 pixels by 150. Let's see that in the media list. Okay, looking good. Let's just preview our widget in the browser. There we have it, an adaptive custom media list widget built with the repeater widget. You can use this pattern for many different project requirements. Next, we will insert our generic media list into our adaptive project file so we can then customize it further for our book e commerce site. Make sure you save this widget library, we're going to use it in the next video.